Hello and welcome back. In this section, we will be working with the objects. As I said earlier, uh, if we try to pipe any of the command, for example, uh, one of the command may be uh, this is the command. Uh, so what we have done is uh, we have two of the pipes here. So what is happening with the pipes? We talked, uh, we, I tried to explain earlier uh, with the pipes, anything within this pipes is considered as one of the objects and post to that one more object and these two objects information or whatever it is getting uh, filter within that funnels and it is coming as the output to this HTML format. So that's good. Let's, uh, let's also try one more uh, command here just uh, a get hyphen process example so what is happening is you are getting all these output so in Microsoft Windows operating system specific to the PowerShell uh, especially all these information is considered as the one of the object see let's see this itself one line itself it considers a separate object uh, because if you want to filter uh, you can do here a filter wherever it is matching 358 as the handle name and you can to the piping that means this also comes to one of the object and similarly different objects you have here whatever the output is coming everything considers a separate object so why we are talking about object object because every object will have the methods and uh, some of the uh, properties so what kind of an object when we say an you know, object how it looks like a object can be uh, have some kind of you know properties like a color a taste or uh, or these kind of you know values it might have to find out more how uh, what we can do is uh, either we can uh, go for uh, get object model uh, get hyphen service uh, whatever the uh, whatever the processor you want to try for example get hyphen process and you can pipe it uh, as a get member or uh, in a short you know alias as the gm or uh, you can you know just simply type uh, get member so this is going to show you the all the properties uh, and the uh, and this bas basically this is uh, more about the member type so this is the property uh, property stands here it actually holds some kind of well, it can hold some kind of uh, values uh, even though it's alias it is a member uh, it, it's even though alias it has a property that means it can store some kind of value here and similarly the member types you have here events and methods and uh, definitely the property we talked about property again here node property also can have some kind of uh, values can be stored and you can go for the scripting properties all this kind of information which is uh, you can get it from the get member or in a short GA most of the people try to use as the GM but don't get confused it's just the alias and the uh, most important point is here uh, we need to you know, check out uh, what kind of object we are working so in this case it's the diagnostic services object uh, let's have a uh, check on another uh, service maybe or uh, like uh, you can get hyphen service and uh, you can just go for a uh, get member or you can type as a GM in this case so just you would be you know, getting here uh, this is a different object it's if you can you know type of the object would be the here service uh, specific one uh, the service process as the uh, object type here it is a system diagnostic as the object so every object uh, there could be thousands of different objects but you should know on what objects you are trying to work that's the basic thing you should have uh, you should know it we already talked about the properties and now if you look at closely with the methods and you can see here something a method can uh, perform an action uh, here uh, to close or to continue or diagnose or equals or, or stop a start or refresh or pass kind of you no know, actions can be performed by using these methods so these are the things which we are gonna uh, perform it anyway in the if you if you remember we tried to stop and start the specific services in the previous um, uh, lectures so that all happened uh, just because we used actually a method here to uh, stop or start the service let me also explain here uh, when you're actually typing some kind of command maybe get hyphen a processor uh, information uh, the current uh, get hyphen process information you or you know that you know it's just coming uh, a few data 
uh, with a few of the properties like handles npk nmk all these kind of you know, information similarly uh, if i try to do for any other services like get even services i would be getting out uh, very of the few of the values only or we have the properties specific values only which are coming up here so these are the values so if i have a look on about this uh, specific command led uh, gm uh, this is actually get member will give me more information here uh, not just the processor name uh, you have the property so you should be able to pull out all these property values also in your output would but what happened here if you can you know look at uh, you are getting only for uh, almost uh, seven different properties values only it is coming out uh, for you to you know view maybe uh, you ha if you want to you know uh, get more information about all those properties uh, values you want to know maybe you wanted to view for example container or maybe exit code you want to know or you want to know uh, handle or id all such information might be hiding at this point of time and you wanted to know uh, by uh, by piping out and you wanted to know uh, those values how to pull out in this, in this lecture I did explain about the, how to get the GM properties and values so that you know what uh, object you're working and what are the options are available as the uh, either properties or methods or either any script properties and uh, in the upcoming lectures uh, I'm gonna uh, re deep drive uh, more to get uh, more sorting information or customizing and filtering the specific data and methods information uh, how to work with the methods all that uh, would be you know uh, we would be learning in the upcoming lectures thank you for watching this